Hey guys, my name is Ilona and I am so excited to see you here on my YouTube channel. And in this very quick tutorial we will talk how to create this nice and at the same time pretty weird animation, pattern animation. And as usual, before we start, I remind you to subscribe on my YouTube channel and hit a like and drop a comment. It really, really helps me as a creator. First of all, I have to draw a line. Let's do it. Okay, snap to guides. It really helps me. And for this tutorial, I will use a very often extension layout from Plugin Play. I will leave uh, the link uh, to their website below in the description of this video, so you can check it and also test their tools for free first two weeks. Personally, I already subscribe on their tools. I use it in my workflow and I feel that I work faster. So it's really helpful. You can test it as well and then subscribe if you like it. Again, the link in the description. So let me align my line and set it somewhere here in the center of composition. Okay, perfect. And I need to add stroke widths and I completely don't need any fill and I will use a very dark color for it. Okay, let's change the cap for the stroke. Let's rename it. Duplicate it. And it will be white. Change the color. And I also have to change the stroke style. Yep, something like this. Okay, and I will add fast box blur. Okay. Duplicate our black stroke and change the layer mode. And now we cut everything, you know, that we blurred before and we have pretty straight and sharp line. Great, now I have to select all passes. And I will link uh, these two passes to the original one. Okay, great. Now select vertexes. And I need the standard script uh, in After Effects. Let me find it. Here, create nulls from pass. Select pass and press points from nulls. And now you see that we have nulls that actually control um, two vertexes of our stroke. Okay, let's move it above. I really like to rename it, seriously. Okay, great. And also, I would like to add uh, some fake cap here, and it will be just ellipse. You can use uh, just one color or gradient, depends on your vision again. Uh, let me also open layout extension here. Put anchor point to the center. Pressing Ctrl, you can uh, align your circle to the anchor point of the top null. And I use this actually hot button everywhere pretty often. And let me make my circle a bit a bit bigger to match to match this stroke. Yeah. Rename and link to the top. Null, yeah? Okay, great. 
and now I can add the wiggle to the position to both nodes. Okay. Okay, cool. Let me rename it. And move this pre-compose to the new one. It will be bigger, original size, I would say. Duplicate it several times. Select all of these pre-composes and using our layout tool, I will align them. Let's change the space between our pre-composes and press this button. Okay, maybe increase a bit. Yeah, I think now it's perfect and align it very fast so using the same tool in the center uh, of the composition. Okay, I really like to change the color code. Duplicate it. Move it. Okay, I think it's enough and I will align it vertically, yep. Okay, too much. Okay, great. And again, align to the center of the composition. So as you can see, very helpful tool. I work with many layers and align them together. And uh, yeah, it saves a lot of my time. I also want to move some of these rows a little bit. Uh, so probably it will be this one. Yeah, I think now it's cracked. So what we have? We have very nice and strange pattern for sure. And I think that it could be super cool if we change the timing for all of these uh, animations. So I will very quickly move all of these uh, layers randomly and we'll see what we have. Well, yeah, it's super strange, but you see we have uh, some issue here. It seems that our uh, line uh, moves too, too far, actually, and is a bit cut here in the pre -compose. So maybe we can change the wiggle. And I think we can avoid this, you know, this mistake, this issue. And almost the last step, uh, we will move this pre-compose to the final one, I promise you. Let's do it. Scale it. And I also want to add some fake, you know, camera blur. And uh, for this goal, I'm gonna add the new, sorry, the new rectangle. With gradients and this gradient will be black and white of course let's call it as a map and to our precompose I will apply compound compound blur and here we will choose the map yay and you can set the blur as you did. So I think this one looks pretty nice. And final touches, add the new adjustment layer, glow, and set it as you need. Okay, it's too much. Okay. 
Okay, great. I worked a bit with uh, the glow and also I really like to work with curves and add some nice tint to the whole composition. And first of all, I will work with the blue uh, channel. Let's add some nice blue uh, tint here. And of course, you can work with the original line, uh, with the original uh, shading to get the better uh, results in, in the end. Okay, nice. That's what I have. You can experiment with uh, all these parameters that we covered before. And also you can add not only two vertexes to the original line, but also more vertexes, uh, make them, you know, curved and get even better and even, you know, more crazy result than I have right now. If you like these super strange uh, experiments, let me know in comments. Uh, and of course, don't forget to download the layout extension from Plug and Play Tested. As you can see, very helpful tool. Definitely recommend you. And don't forget to subscribe uh, on my Instagram. By the way, I have Instagram and there I share a lot of useful storytellings, my life and uh, more valuable stuff for motion designers and illustrators. The project file is available on my Patreon, as usual, and uh, I want to say special thanks to all these people who already support me on Patreon. Guys, you do an amazing job, I really appreciate it that you support me and you help me during these very dark, actually, times. If you want to join to this incredible list, you know what to do. All necessary links in the description of this video. That's all for today. Thanks for being here, thanks for watching this video and see you very soon in the new video. Bye guys!